hidden sweep, I guess, if you will. So that being said, let's get to our last grouping of, of complementary run game plays, which we call directs or direct runs. They're the order that we'll follow and go through. Zone dive, we, we, when we do it, we mostly like it to a three-man surface because I don't like to ask our tie back to make that C-gap kind of a wedge or sniffer type block. It's gap blocking guys all the way a little bit, a little bit of uh, negotiating, but communication for the lineman, but it's, it's not true gap like belly G, but it's more of a, a base over and up. We can use some motion away to kind of help this because our tie backs can be like little pawns or little de decoys. Veer action. You see our quarterback sprint off of that. If we, and we did do it when we had bigger tie backs, they would be that C gap fitter, get your head across or wash them down. You see the tie back at the top's doing a nice job there. Fullback aims right for the butt of the guard. Kind of a, I call it a tweener handoff between veer, between midline, and, and he can run from ABC. It's almost like giving it to a zone back in, in our terms. So for us, it is a little bit of a zone uh, concept in terms of how he could run it. Love the way the backside tie back's carrying out his action. Let's see how that perimeter wants to play triple if we do run beer and get it out there. It can look like a wedge play. I've had a lot of guys say, is that a wedge play? Some of these flex ball teams, quarterback sneak, but basically to the fullback. It, it can resemble that. And that's what happens sometimes. To the, we're, we're connected. It's just a wide of bodies and the fullback keeps fighting through it and comes out. Uh, obviously, we don't like that to happen, but great effort until then. Poor fundamentals. I didn't coach him good enough. Same thing, tight end. We're going to run it there with, with uh, flyaway motion. Fullback, ABC. Quarterback, get it to him deep and finish. Watching some of these zone dive clips makes me wonder why it's not a core play for us. It is a really good football play. Harding University does a great job with it. Many other teams as well. So for what it's worth, it is a core play for a lot of teams. Good look at it there. It, it, it's Quarterback sneak. Okay, over it up. Get vertical. Quarterback knows the distance you need. We will run this for our short yardage, but we'll also run in a in short red short zone but we'll also run an open field if somebody's giving us a split middle or just late lining up or soft. This team is trying to line up and recognize gaps and who's where. And look, we don't have to wait on them. We got an over and up concept. Center's going to step vertical to the most dangerous man, carry it with him. Quarterback, know what you need. And I think a very important coaching point I put on the slide, the quarterback, and this is part of our EDD, get the snap before you move forward. Every other play in football, this, the quarterback steps away from the center, except this one. So you may wonder why sometimes quarterbacks fumble on quarterback sneak. It's because their hands go down because they're moving forward, and the, and the center's butt pushes it down. So get the snap, secure it as you start to move forward. you got to be deliberate about that and intentional. Now, this is a little bit of a tempo game. We actually went a freeze, and then we got to – what we call white Tampa, wedge on Tampa. So throws the defensive uh, tempos off. And, and this open field play, look at the down the distance, guys. This first 10 on a plus 40-yard line. I think most of us would take eight-and-a-half-yard gain right there. Red zone again. Now, we don't do anything fancy with the backs, but we could trigger motion. Uh, you could probe for formations. You could do some things and still run this just to see what you got. But I love our pad level and our desire to get the first down, step over and up. You see the tight end here is stepping over, but he's a little late on the up. We got to kind of – we it can't be a flat step. It's got to be at a 45 and then carry it upfield. Don't let them uh, create a wad. And if they dive at your feet, make them pay for it. Not, not, not unsportsmanlike, but be physical grinding through there. On the left, right side, I love what we're doing. We're going over and up. Look at the guard tackle, almost like a swap block. The left side, the guard's over and up, but the tackle's not. So, yeah, the three-tech runs himself out of the play, but I don't like that. We should be trying to fight to get across that. It's inside out. It's V. 
This team was playing a very soft middle. Open field play, first and 10. Look what happens. Twenty-five, almost thirty-yard game. <laughs> so, probably our biggest play of the night. Maybe in the individual one play on quarterback sneak. So again, a, probably a very underappreciated, undervalued play, but very critical. See how we're doing. Tight ends a little late off the ball. Usually, a C gap defender shouldn't hurt us. We do not wait. All right, this is our little sniper play, tieback sniper. We've done different things with this, guys. We've gone gap away from it. We've gone gap to it, done different things with the fullback. It's kind of been fun, but just the way we verbalize it gives us some flexibility with it. Uh, the linemen here, one thing. The the, the backfield action, something else. We could say uh, 21 blast, 20 bright. We could use... Words that set the blocking, the base blocking where we want it. Very simple. And then the fullback's an easy adjustment as well. So you can see, uh, love this play. Uh, many flex ball teams have run this over the years. It's a 20 and 21 action, trying to hit a near A gap, get your shoulder square. This back does a great job of over getting his shoulder square downhill in a hurry. Even beats the receiver to the free safety. Here's one where we do it, doing it off a of freeze. Uh, we were zoning away and we had the fullback almost like an H back, back uh, feeling for the for C gap area away. And we had a little motion there. Didn't like this action as much, but just show you the you know, different ways we did it. Our zone, or excuse me, our base blocking, we did not get a hat on everybody. They got in the 30 front and uh, we should have been pushing to that mic. He's, he's unblocked right there. And then the tie back down here should have been out on that rover. He's a, he misses. There's another little action, more like the first one you saw, uh, kind of base concept to the left. Actually, we're double folding this. They're in a 50, and we double folded it. I don't want to give you the illusion that it's an overly schemed play. It's not. We do have some a little bit of scheme flexibility, but this is not an expensive play. Now we're going zone this way or base man this way. Fullback's going right, and we're just trying to get it to him vertical. Here's the way I probably like it the best. It's kind of away from the fullback, underneath handoff, no mo. Try to get that back hitting at 100 miles an hour through this through the near a gap. Okay, similar concept is is a is a little fullback gut play that we run. Off a of toss action. We go toss to the right and we base it on the backside or we fold it. It's that simple. We base or fold. Left guard is, I uh, hate to say it, it's kind of a train wreck right here, but we base or fold it. And when they're playing straight man, they kind of lose their eyes based on the backside. Again, it's kind of the fullback's version of sniper. And you do have to be careful with some of these add on plays that you know you don't get too you don't get too um schemey with them because they they're not standalone plays but they can be good little complimentary plays be careful not to force them we like it to a uh a small tech or big tech we get double small techs we'll wash the gap fullback's hitting right up the cylinder almost like a small scheme on midline is actually how we teach it Again, this is fullback gut with fullback uh, toss action away. Look at the free safety running. The left side of the line is really blocking toss. They're blocking over gap because we're coming out the back door all the way. Fullback cutback play. We just told them block triple. Give it to him like zone down dive and now it's not just a front side play. He can bend it backside. Kind of get it to him deep and let him read all the levels. Get over aggressive mic, overflowing defense, good play. Here it is out of trips, no motion action. Kind of reads the action key. Try to get up underneath the backside five technique. Again, very, very simple. Fullback cut. It's not a new play. We don't major in it. Good little action. And I think this may be the last one. 
this is a play that I've watched at Georgia Tech for years. Sometimes they pull this out, and I try to look at the front they're running against. Usually it was a 4-3 team that was chasing motion, and then the backside edge was kind of a, what I call just a real short edge. You had a five-tech and then a backer that's sticking his nose in the box or hanging over there, and they would just run a blind sweep. They would block triple or fake midline and just hand it to him with no mo, almost like a no mo jet, uh, naked jet out the back door. And you can see the safety at the top to the right. He bumps in just enough. He really can't see it. Now, that kid could run. Now, he was fast. He was going to catch us, but we were going to get a good play first.